Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be working on this Christmas ornament. Now before I start the video, I painted this with this chocolate sprinkle multi-surface apple barrel paint. Now, I try a few coats. You gotta always, this is a glass globe, so I always use multi-surface on the base coat. And then I just use regular acrylics on the top because I um, do a spray sealer after the fact. But I just wanted to show you guys before I started. I started doing this. This is a coffee mug and then these are dowel rods. And this has helped me out greatly. I'm going to take this off of there. Because when I paint these... I can just leave it sit like that and I paint it and let it dry and paint another area and let it dry and it holds it really well. And so I thought I'd share that little tidbit with you. And I usually do two at a time, that's why I've got a couple of them. But anyways, on to the video. Alrighty. So for this one, I'm going to use, I think, oranges and yellows in there on this brown ornament. So I'm going to start out with a number 10 for my center dot. And I'm going to make it this tan color, which is cocoa. Now I'm going to go down to my number 2. And I'm going to do some dots around that. And I'm thinking probably just eight. Maybe I'll do 16. I'll fill that in. I'm gonna come in with a number three. in this yellow, this lemon yellow. And I'm going to do every other dot in this next row. The number four, I'm going to get a slightly darker yellow, this saffron yellow. And I'm going to do a dot in between those. go to a bright orange color and that would be no oh, I'm not gonna go with the super bright I'll go with the tangerine and let's go with a number seven some dots around those using the number two and I'm gonna go back to that lemon yellow now my first dot I'm gonna place out just a little bit not right along the edge so that it gets more like a petal shape I think I want to come in with the even brighter orange that I got, which is this orange flame. I think I'm going to drag some dots. So I'm going to grab a tool. Let's go with the 1.5 millimeter. Because I want this to be very detail oriented. I want it to just pop. So I'm going to come out just a little bit. And 
and then drag in Okay, now I'm going to come in still with that same tool, this 1.5 millimeter, and I'm going to go to the lighter color, the tangerine. And I'm going to start over here and kind of bring it in a little bit. Now I'm going to come back in with that really tan color, the cocoa color, a number five dot, right out on top of these. I'm going to just leave a little bit of a gap. I'm going to come in with this no titanium white and a fairly bigger dot. Let's go with the number eight. And I'm going to do a dot out from here. And I'm going to leave a fairly decent sized gap and just center it between those two brown ones. All right, now I'm going to come in with the number six. And I'm going to go to that tangerine color. And I'm going to put a dot in between. Out just a little bit from that tan one. Oh, a number 11. Still with the tangerine. And I'm going to do a dot right on top of those white ones. And I'm going to come in with the yellow and walk some dots around those big ones I just did. And I'm going to use that light lemon yellow. And I want small dots, so I'm going to use the number two. Now again, I'm going to go out just a bit from this. So that it's more of a petal shape. So, I think I'm going to walk some white around that too. And I'm going to go up to the number three. Now I'm going to come in with number three and back with this orange flame. And I'm going to do a dot in between.
Well, I'm going to bring these orange dots out more. Let's go number six in that tangerine color. Okay, now I'm going to stick with the tangerine. But I'm going to get bigger. Go with the number eight. Still with this tangerine color. Now I'm going to come back in with the cocoa color. And I'm going to do a big dot out from that. I'm going to go with the number 12. I think I want to walk some more around these I just did. And I think I'm going to go with the number 3. Gonna do this yellow again. Now that time I didn't put it out like a petal, so I'm gonna do these all the same, and then I'll probably come do another row like a petal. All right, now I'm gonna come in with the white and back with the number three. And I'm gonna do another row of walk of the dots around them. But I'm gonna make sure to go out a little bit so I get that petal shape again. So now I'm going to go in with some top dots, number three, with this orange flame on these tangerine ones right there. Okay, and I really want to put that on these bigger tangerine ones too, so that's the number six, still with the orange flame. Okay, now I'm gonna go, I got this, um, chocolate brown. that I'm going to try and match the background a little bit with. I'm going to go with the number seven. And I'm going to dot those on those ones we just did. Hopefully they're dry enough. Okay, I'm also going to use that chocolate brown and those white ones right there. And we'll go with the number four. I guess it's dark chocolate, not chocolate brown. Alrighty, I think I'll leave it at that. Alrighty, so there we have it. What well, a nice warm color Christmas ornament. I hope you guys like it. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you. Many more Christmas ornaments coming up. I will talk to you all tomorrow.
see ya.